Now, recognition of investment property. Investment property should be recognized as an asset when and only when. These are the two conditions. Number one, it is probable that the future economic benefits will flow to the enterprise, to the entity. And in in you are using it and in future you are getting cash flow out of it. B, thus cost can be measured reliably. Actually, these two conditions are almost for every asset. But here they have repeated that investment property purpose also, you must keep in mind these two things. Subsequent measure of investment property should follow the preferred fair value model or the alternate cost model. These two models are going to be recommended. Either you use cost model or fair value model. If you remember in property, plant and equipment, we have cost model. We, whatever price we pay for it, we capitalize it and then we reduce it, depreciation, amortization and we recorded that. That is a cost model. But at the same time, we have the revaluation model that we appreciate our, I mean, every year end, we revalue the property and if there is any increase or decrease, if there is a decrease impairment, but if there is increase, that is surplus, revenue uh, surplus. So both methods, uh, methods are recommended in this case also. Under fair value, it, revalue, uh, it, well, it revalued to fair value at each balance sheet day. In case of property, plant and equipment, it was not that. You can revalue it after two years, three years, four years, whatever you want. But in case of investment property, you have to revalue at the every year end. Any gain or loss taken to the income statement, no depreciation. In case of property, plant and equipment, we charge depreciation and we charge depreciation to profit and loss account, right? In this case, any change in the investment property, it will be taken to the profit and loss account. Under cost model, IS-16 will apply and property will, uh, will depreciate like any other assets. So, you will, if you follow the cost model, then, it, then in this case, you will follow the same which you follow for the property and plant and equipment. Now let's make it very clear what is cost model and what is fair value model. This is the benchmark treatment in IAS 16. Many assets we buy, we just report them in our accounts at cost. So this is a benchmark treatment which require investment properties to be measured, depreciated historical cost, less any impairment. In effect, this treats investment properties in a similar manner to owner-occupied property. You know, if you use cost model, then you are taking it as if it is owner's occupied property. So it is not really investment property in that case. When the cost model is adopted, the fair value of investment property must be disclosed. It means that if you are reporting your investment property in the balance sheet at cost, no depreciation, but if there is some revaluation of it and you find the price is going up or the value is going up, so that revaluation should be disclosed to the notes. So you are not adjusting your investment property, you are just reporting it as a notes that this property cost is this much, but the market value is this. Fair value model requires investment properties to be measured at their fair values on the balance sheet debt with changes in fair value being recognized in income statement. Now, no depreciation on investment properties under fair value model. But whatever is change, let's say it appreciates. So that appreciation is directly reported in the profit and loss account of that particular year. And if there is deduction, let's say loss, reducing its value, so whatever is the deduction, that is again to be taken to the profit and loss account as a loss. So fair value model 
we keep in mind that we revalue the assets at the end of every year and if there is any appreciation that will be taken to the profit and loss similarly if there is any reduction in its value that should also be taken to the profit and loss now in case of property plant and good it was not that way there if we revalue the assets we don't take it to profit and loss account but we take it to the other comprehensive income but in this case no it is state whatever change in the value of investment property that will be taken to the profit and loss account the difference of cost model that requires evaluation surpluses to be recognized as changes in statement of equity not as income but fair model fair value model is described desirable to per ifr 613 now as i said clearly that here any change in the property's value to be routed to income statement and we debit the profit and loss account if it is increasing we we debit the property credit the profit and loss and if it is decreasing then what we do we debit profit and loss account and credit the investment property so these two models are being used and uh, let's see how these model in practically apply thank you very much